I'm Tim Dalton. I'm an associate professor in the department. I am Luta Muhammad. I'm the principal research officer at the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute in Nairobi, in Kenya. The project is a, it's a large project and covering five countries, Kenya, Uganda, uh, Tanzania, Mozambique, and South Africa. And we're interested in uh, determining what's the demand for drought-tolerant corn varieties in each of these countries, uh, and more specifically with small farmers. And so Dr. Muhammad is taking leadership on uh, some of the work that we're doing in Kenya, in a um, rural area near the uh, Machakos, is the nearest large city um, in Makwing and Kathmazwani areas. Those are areas in Kenya uh, where there are large numbers of very poor people. Uh, there are frequent droughts which wipe out uh, food, and the food deficit areas. And maize is the major food staple in Kenya. So in 2010, in July, uh, Dr. Mohammed and I conducted some experiments with farmers looking at the different types of maize varieties that they preferred and some experiments about their risk tolerance, uh, um, um, sort of their ability to bear risk is what we're looking at. We got some preliminary information and what we were able to show is that there's really three different groups of farmers and they vary in their willingness to pay for some of these maize varieties. There's a, a large group about um, 60% of the farmers sort of behave as we would expect people to behave, that they are very much interested in drought tolerance, they're willing to pay a premium for these traits, and we expect they would be sort of the normal classic type of um, person that would adopt these varieties. Then we have a second group, which is uh, about 25% of the population, and they say that, yes, we're interested in these traits, however, we're not willing to pay for them. So we don't know why that is, but we think maybe it has to do with their level of poverty. And it's sort of like a scenario where you go and you drive around a parking lot or an automobile dealership and say, oh, I really like that car, but I can never pay for something like that. And then the third group, which is really not interested in these traits at all, and they're looking for other attributes like insect resistance and um, drought escape through shorter cycle, um, early maturing varieties. Yeah, the implications for research are uh, enormous. So immediate use in the development of uh, maize varieties is that we are trying to show the way in which uh, farmers respond. The evaluation of the maize varieties which are coming and the ability to pay for them and therefore the ability for seed producers, seed traders who will make the seeds available to the farmers will be increased through the findings are going to get from the research unit. So, I mean, I guess some of the potential implications that we're, might emerge is that that uh, large segment who behave sort of normally, they're going to, uh, with proper information, proper education, they would go and purchase these seeds at a regular seed supplier and use them. The other group, which is doesn't have a very high willingness to pay, there may be need for some sort of intervention, so subsidized seeds for them to take advantage of this drought tolerant mechanism. And then the third segment is a real question mark. We're trying to sort through what would be an appropriate response to them. It might just be that there's a group of people who aren't interested in this and won't, be, won't benefit from the technology.